Hey everybody, this is John1313, and I'm um, excited today to go ahead and do a June favorite since it's about the end of June. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with eye products. Um, so the first one I have is, I just got this stuff not too, too long ago, about the middle of June, or beginning of June, I don't know, but this is the uh, Sephora um, waterproof eye pencil. What is it? Yeah, waterproof eye pencil. Um, it's coal and liner. Um, so what it is, is it is a black sharpening eyeliner. There you go. It's got a little bit of pink on there, but you know. You have black gloves on. I have black gloves on too. <laughs> there there you we go. go. But um, yeah, so it works really well. Um, I feel like it's very similar to uh, the Urban Decay stuff, but it's about half the price, so it's quite a bit better. Um, so it's eyeliners. Um, favorite primer is of course Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's really good. I like it. Uh, everyone knows what that is. It's, I mean, everyone uses it, I think. Or a lot of people use it. Um, and then eyeshadows. Actually, not eyeshadows yet. We're going to go with this guy. So what this is, is this is a um, Elf Cream Eyeliner in black. Um, and I like it a lot. I use it as a base. So before I put on black makeup for the day, this is what I usually have on. I put this stuff on. See it? And it's really nice because um, it goes on pretty easily. I've used the Wet n Wild stuff before. I feel like this stuff's quite a bit easier to use than the Wet n Wild cream liner, gel liner stuff. So yeah, that is the Elf Cream Eyeliner in black. And I like that a lot. Um, next we'll go on to eyeshadows for real this time. Um, so first eyeshadow uh, is going to be MAC in Carbon. Right? It is a matte black. And I've been using this a lot lately. Um, actually, DMC XXO got me this for my birthday. Thank you. And I love it. It's great. Um, it goes on really easily. It's really black. Uh, if you put it on over the cream liner, then it works really, really well. So, yep. And then Mad Style stuff, which I've actually got some Mad Styles on right now. But um, the first one, I'm going to start with the one that I have on, is uh, Outlaw Star. And I use this in a lot of my videos whenever I'm using pinks. This is what I'm usually using. Um, and so this is just a really bright pink. If you can see it there. Ooh. It's nice and shiny, and glittery, I mean. No. Um, and... So the next one is going to be um, Bitten. And this is another Mad Style Cosmetics color. And Bitten, it's hard to see on this camera. It looks really orange there, but it's a really bright red. And it's really, really pretty. Um, it's like a bright matte red. And it's vegan. And it's vegan. It doesn't have carmine in it. But um, it, I really like it. It works really, really well. It's really, really pigmented. Um, I've actually been looking for a matte red for a really long time. The only ones I could find around like Halloween time. And they're super cheap, but they're super crappy. And then um, you can find some that are expensive, I think, from like expensive places. Like you can get it from Mac, but that's really not expensive. But um, it's like $16 for it. And this is $5, and it works amazing. Um, I love this stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I love this stuff. This is really fun. Um, next is um, Goat Head Red, which is another Mad Style Cosmetics color. Is what it is, is it's black with some red glitters in it, and it's really, really pretty. Um, so what I like to do is actually put Bitten down and then put this over it, so it's kind of overlapping. And it looks really, really cool. Um, I've done it a couple times. I'll try and put a tutorial up of it soon, because I really like it. I think that you guys might like it too. I figured I'd share that with you guys. Um, next, I'll go with green color. This is Ecto Cooler, and it's Mad South Cosmetics. Um, and my hair is stuck in my lip gloss. And it's really pretty, green. Uh, I've used it in a couple of tutorials. It's like a bright green. Um, it's like greens, I don't know. I have lots of green stuff on me, like tattoos. And so it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I really like this stuff. And all the Mad Styles, or Mad Style Cosmetics stuff. I've been saying that wrong like the whole time. It's Mad Style, not Mad Styles. So, in previous videos, just go ahead and correct that in your mind. But, um, I really like that stuff. Uh, it's really good. I will actually be putting them into the down bar below. Uh, or her. It's Mo. So, yep. Awesome. And then, let's go with, um, Mascara. So my favorite mascara right now is Elmay One Coat Dial-Up, and this is from My Mommy Loves Makeup. 
And I've been using this stuff a lot. I put it on two because that's why I like it. Um, I actually just picked up another one because I don't know how much I have left in this, but I've had it for a while. And they're on sale right now. So I got one for 75% off from CVS. That was a good deal for me. I liked it. Um, so there's, I think, are all the eye products that I have out here. Um, let's go ahead and go on to skin products. The first ones being the sunscreens. This is SPF 70 sunscreens. So I am very Irish and I burn very easily. Um, so I really like this because, I mean, this is for my body. My body. And it is 70 SPF kids of sunscreen from Kroger. And I like it because it does not smell like sunscreen. It smells a little bit like uh, glue, but not like sunscreen. And I, because I hate the way sunscreen smells. It just reminds me of like, you know, summer and stuff. <laughs> not a big fan of all that. But, um, what? But who says that? I do. I just said that. I don't like it. Um, and then this one right here, I put this one on my face. And this is Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen SPF 70. Light, clean, field, dermatologist tested. There's bugs in my face. And I really like this one too. Um, I use this one on my face because it won't, it's oil free and doesn't clog pores. Um, whereas this one, I don't think it is. So, um, so that's that. Uh, other skin products, um, we've got Revlon Photo Ready, and this is the foundation that I typically use when I'm going to be wearing foundation. I use 002 Vanilla. Vanilla. Um, and actually, I took this one from Beth. Um, it works pretty well for me. I have it on right now. Pretty good match. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I like that stuff. It works really well. I didn't realize it had glitters in it for the longest time when I was wearing it, and I just took part of my eyebrows off. Don't worry about that. But um, it does have a little glitters in it. And it had, Jesus. Kind of a mess. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that guy. Next we have this one. I use this in like all my videos. This is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder and Soft Green. And apparently a tongue twister. Um, I haven't been able to find any more of this stuff. Uh, I got this one and another one for like three dollars because they were on like clearance sale at CVS. So I have a feeling I could be able to find more of this stuff. There's like a darker green one. So I'm going to have to try that guy out too. But I really like it because it cancels out all the redness in my skin. And it makes it work really well for me. So I like it. Um, next, um, I'm going to go ahead and do lip products. And lip products I really like. We'll start with this guy. And this is um, Black Radiance um, in color 5024. This one is just a black lipstick. Um, it works really well though, it goes on really smooth, it stays on pretty well, and it was only like $2. So it's a great investment. I've had this for a little while, this lasted a while, um, but it's really good. Um, and then another thing that I really like to use is this guy. And it's what it is, it's actually black lip gloss that I made. And it's what I did is I started off with Sally Hansen Lip Inflation um, Lip Gloss, it's just a clear gloss. And then I put some black pigment in there from a... Um, it was L'Oreal eyeshadow, and I smashed it up real good with a paper clip, and I poured it in there, and I mixed it up, and it's what it, it works really well. It's got the lip inflation, so it like, you know, poofs up your lips, plumps them. But um, I like it's what I've got on right now. You can see it. I like it because it's black, but it's not like solid black with like with the lipstick. It's different. I like how it fills in like the little creases in your lips. So I think it's really neat. I really like it. So that is that. Um, so it's lip products. I've also got some chapstick that I like, but I don't know where I put it. And it's Burt's Bees, um, with clove oil. But I've used that in videos previously, so if you want to check it out, you can check it out there. Um, tools. Let's go ahead and use some tools. I have tools. I had, where did this come from? Oh, this is a Sigma, um, Kabuki brush. It says Miss Taylor on there. I don't know. Beth gave this to me. And she will be doing a giveaway this month too for Sigma, but so keep posted to her channel. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, I've been using it to put on powders and also to put on foundation when I need to. And I feel like it works really well. I mean, it goes on nice and does what the brush does. So 
it's nice and thick, not thick, but dense too. So, yep. So that's that. Um, next thing on tools is my Mac brushes. Mac. And these are from Beth also. Um, I don't have them all in here because most of them are kind of dirty and I don't want to get pigment all over inside of this nice felted case. Um, but they're really nice. They're made just like uh, Mac brushes and they're really soft when they need to be. And uh, the eye brushes are nice and stiff so you don't have them like flopping all over the place and everything so it's good. And um, finally, last thing, I'm going to do nail polishes. Um, of course, Black Crackle or Black Shatter from OPI. I love this stuff. I got it on my middle nails, like every other finger has the black crackle on there. I don't know if you can see it or not though because of the other black that's underneath of it. But I love this stuff and this is from um, S. Taylor 1204. I love it. It's awesome. And um, next I've got Sally Hansel. Sally Hansel. <laughs> Sally Hansen Overcoat Cherry Smash is what this is. This is also a crackle. Um, and it's red crackle. As you can see I've got it there. And it's real pretty. Um, the other problem is when I put over black, I just kind of like put a couple coats on real, real quick because it doesn't show through all the way because it's red over black, so you know. And, um, next one is going to be Milani Nail Lacquer in, uh, Garnet Gems. And what it is is it's black and it's got little red sparkles in there. It looks a lot like the goat head red from Mad Style Cosmetics and it's really pretty. I really like it. I have it on under the black crackle on this one and this one. This one? This one? And this one. I don't know if you can see it or not. Because um, it's on what I say. So yeah. Those are my June favorites for cosmetics and everything. Um, also, I'm wearing these guys today. Is what it is. They're Dreadfalls that I made. And I like them a lot. I finally put them together. Because I made the Dreadlocks like a long time ago. Not a long time ago. But I've been putting the Dreadlocks together for a while. And so I finally got enough to kind of like put them all together. And put them on my head. I was going to um, braid them into my hair. But it would take too long. So. Yep, yeah, so this is Dread Falls, made pigtails, I like them. Um, so anyways, yeah, comment and subscribe and whatever down below. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Those are Beth's knees. Goodbye.